From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's, it's the big day with a series of major shockers across the board. And what happened? Well, on that earnings front, a series of companies missed and a series of companies beat. Whoa. Then when we jump over to the early, when we jump over to the labor numbers, that was a surprise. We thought that the jobless claims would surge while well, the latest details on that front today as well. Did they go to 260 or did they drop? All the latest breaking news across the board. Plus, when we look at those inflationary pressures that'll raise your benefits up, well, we have new data coming in from housing. And what did that data from housing say? We're going to be surprised. Did it show a housing recession as we learned two days earlier? Or did it show an improvement of that market? The breaking news on a big afternoon. Then, of course, the big shocker that came last weekend. As a new seven stimulus checks are passed, we'll go over these seven new stimulus checks and the lifetime stimulus added with it. It's a big night and we have a lot to go over. This is why you want to become a member. Go on to this video, Purple Hawk. Purple Power, Calcino VIP, and these are on top of the $100,000 of checks that viewers have been getting since the month of March. Those three initial checks are added to seven new checks, and these incredible checks are in every U.S. state. Done by the President by executive action, about $100,000, and now getting ready for seven new checks, bringing you to a grand total of 10. Over this incredible broadcast, we go over that, plus the breaking news on the manufacturing index, showing manufacturing happening. What are they manufacturing? Are they manufacturing some lobster shorts? I hope not. We go over the detail on the manufacturing numbers coming in minutes ago. Uh, hopefully it's showing more bacon in production. Then we have the latest details on that student loan debt forgiveness. A breaking news report Dick broke, broke on this channel, broke on the social media account of LA last night. Uh, the latest details on what the president is and isn't doing on student loan debt forgiveness. It's huge, it's breaking news tonight. And then of course, over to the latest details on the big checks that are being paid out, and one of you have got 14 checks in the last 24 to 48 hours. It's a huge night, huge day, and a huge afternoon. I'm excited you're here. We got a lot of money to go over. It's a big afternoon. Your economy, your recession, your inflation, your benefit raise, your housing market, and your unemployment. The latest details, the breaking news, everything you need to know, it's all on Afternoons, and the breaking news starts right here, right now, as Afternoons LA gets underway for a big day, starting right now. Good afternoon, everybody. Benefit lift? Well, that's lifetime stimulus. Added to that is seven new stimulus checks. Wow. We'll go over the latest details for an August 18th, 2022. And seven new stimulus checks are added to the existing three stimulus checks. Four stimulus checks detailed on this channel since the month of March. The breaking news on Kohl's and other companies missing on corporate earnings today. But none of the companies beating. What do you need to know? The raise of your benefits if you're on SSI and SSDI. The latest details on the housing market. A lot of breaking details coming in on that. And then, of course, the manufacturing. What are they manufacturing? I don't know. <laughs> All the latest details you need to know. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And we start, of course, with all the breaking news starting right now on a big, bold, beautiful afternoon of LA Light. Hope you have a beautiful day. It's August 18th, 2022. It's been much cooler here along the coast of Santa Monica. But the great news is your stimulus is heating up. Seven new stimulus checks became law passed by Congress over the weekend. That adds to the three stimulus checks that viewers have been getting. And in just a second, you're going to meet one viewer who got 14 months of checks this last week. And you're going to meet another viewer who got 80 to 100 checks. That's almost $100,000 from the four stimulus package. Huge, great news. But we start first with the labor number. Thursday morning, you saw it mornings on air, live on the channel. When the Department of Labor announced the latest unemployment claims this morning, we had said that it was likely to go higher over the last few months. I've been right every single week. This week, 
I was wrong. The number actually dropped. The number of jobless claims dropped this last week from a 260 back down a little bit lower. Let's go over where that number has progressed in the last few weeks. It was 140,000, then it surged to 200, then it went to 260. I was projecting today's number was going to be 265. I was wrong. It fell back to 255. 255,000 new jobless claims were announced by the Department of Labor this morning for August 18, 2022, showing that labor could be improving across the board. You know, of course, that the lowest unemployment rate has been uh, gauged by the Federal Reserve in that payroll numbers about a month ago. But the jobless claims are still continuing to surge. This number 255 is not a good number to celebrate. It's still really basically the second largest number of 2022 and the highest number of much of 2021. When you look at the running claims across the board, they fell slightly. But when you look at the entire situation, what did the analysts say? Chris Zifarelli from Chief Investment Officer of Independent Alliance Advisors today says, unfortunately, what's good for the American worker is bad for the Federal Reserve's attempt to bring inflation down to 2% and it will be complacent on the job and cause rate hikes and many people see unexpected transitory issues. The Federal Reserve's FOMC minutes were released late last night and they said there's a tentative sign signs of softening of the labor market. Softening the labor market means that basically the situation is easing and not as robust. Minutes ago, the manufacturing index was report, reported by the Federal, Federal Reserve of Philadelphia. And this was a great number. This is a big shocker. In the month of July, it posted a negative 12.1, which means that there was less manufacturing. A negative number is less manufacturing. So was today's number a negative 12.6 like the month before? No, it was a positive 6.2 showing more manufacturing, not a contraction of the industry. Well, that's robust economic news there, but when you jump over the earnings situation, very mixed bag today. Kohl's, the major department store, missed dramatically. Missed hugely. Kohl's sees net sales in fiscal 2022 down 6% across the board, and the situation was not good today. Was not good when the shares, when the shares fell 8.1%, in the initial of trading this morning, when same source sales dropped 7.7% year to date. Not good. What was the latest details across the front with other companies on those earnings determinations today? Well, we actually had a series of major beats after a series of weeks in which we had misses on those corporate earnings left and right. We actually had some good beats today on some earnings. And what were those beats and were they wide felt? Well, those earning beats were BJ Wholesales, which is basically like a Sam's Club or a Costco. They beat top and bottom today, also beating Tapestry. Estee Lauder missing, Bed and Body Works beating, and Cisco beat as well. If you're watching this channel yesterday, if we missed the news, let me go over what happened yesterday. Target had guided downward, saying this economy is in real trouble, guided downward in the month of May, then guided downward in the month of June, and reported corporate earnings yesterday, August 17th, and missed. That was a horrible bloodbath yesterday. When their profits fell 90%, Walmart the day before came in a little bit stronger. So it's a very mixed bag when you look at the earnings side. Now, not particularly a mixed bag when you look at the housing. Housing has been bad all week, all month, and was it any different today? No, it was not. Existing home sales was released early this morning, feature on Mornings LA Live when that data came in, and it was a miss across the board as well. The housing data for over a month on this channel has been weak. Back in the month of July, the builder's confidence missed, the existing home sales missed, and the new home construction missed. So what was the data released today for an August 18th? Much the same. Sales drop 20% compared to the month a year ago in the latest details released this morning. Housing is in a full housing recession. Sales of existing homes fell 6% compared to the month before. In data obtained by LA News, this is month-to-month -month data, 6% down compared to the prior month. The National Association of Realtors released this morning. There's existing homes going up for sale. When you look to year-to-date, it's down 20%. Then when you look in the core numbers, they're not any better across the board. High-end market pulling back, middle, middle market pulling back, not really good. 
When you look at the housing data all this week, it's been much the same. Every single day, another housing data coming in, and another day, it's the same narrative. Housing recession. We had the home builders cancellation rate, which is basically how many people are backing out of the contract to buy the home yesterday, August 17th. The largest number since, two, since April had actually doubled. And the John Burns Real Estate Consulting Survey showed that the cancellation numbers are out of control. In Texas and the Southwest, as much as 27%. My goodness. Then the day before that, August 15th, we had the National Association of Home Builders release their monthly index by in conjunction with Wells Fargo. And it was horrible. It basically said housing recession. National Association of Home Builders Chief Economist Robert Dietz said tighter monetary policy for the Federal Reserve has caused a housing recession. So with that, it's a very, very fascinating board today. We have an improving number of jobless claims. We have improving corporate earnings, generally in some regards. And then we have a, 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 a disfavorable, not improving housing market. When we looked at the retail sales numbers yesterday, they were flat. Remember the importance of retail sales is it impacts your benefits and how much your benefits go up. Why? Because retail sales is an indication of inflation. And when we're looking at inflation, we're trying to determine how much your benefits go up. Well, the great news today is that your benefits are looking really good. The data released last week was the first data, the consumer price index, then the second data a day later, the producer price index, and the data released yesterday, the retail sales. Let's go over what's at issue. Your benefits are tied to inflation, and we need to see whether inflation is peaked or not peaked. What happened? Back in the month of July, the CPI surged out of control. Then the PPI surged as well. Then the retail sur sales surged as well. Let's go over the specifics of what actually happened. Back in May, the consumer price index, which is what you pay for the milk and eggs of the store, surged dramatically. This is a major inflationary number, the CPI. What happened in the month of May? The CPI surged dramatically. 8.6% was the reading then. Then we saw the month of June come absolutely off the Richter charts at a 9.1% inflationary number. And we were waiting for that July print last week of August 10th, because why? Your benefits go up a lot. And what happened with that August 10th, the number last week? Well, the CPI was basically flat on the headline number. The headline number was basically flat. It was about a half percentage point down. The producer price index gauges how much the wholesaler pays the day after relatively flat. And the retail sales number released yesterday relatively flat. Great news for you. Because we want to basically see that inflation is staying the same or higher because if it is, your benefits are going up a lot. Let's go over why, starting right now. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. And it's determined by three months of one number. The CPI-W released last week, August 10th. The next one released September 10th, and the one after that released October 10th. We need to see that basically inflation staying the same or going up. And if that's the case, you're getting the largest lifetime stimulus you've ever seen on this channel. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say, for example, your benefits go up 11% this year. They're never going to go down to where they are paying you right now. And then if next year inflation is, let's say, 3%, you'll get 3% on top of 11%. That is why this is incredible across the board. Yes, this is a lifetime stimulus. This is lifetime stimulus. This is the biggest payout you can see of your generation. Why? Because inflation is the largest of a generation. So what is the latest details we're seeing tonight on inflation? Tonight, what we're seeing on inflation is that the headline number may have pulled off a little bit, may have softened a little bit, but the core numbers that comprise inflation are actually, in all sense, tracking higher in this month of August compared to the month of July. Milk and eggs and your consumer staples that you pay for in the supermarket are still going up. There's no indication that they've pulled back at all, number one. Number two, salaries are no indication that they're going down. No one's cutting someone's salaries this month. Rent. Is the landlord giving you cheaper rent this month? Of course not. That's ridiculous. That's like showing up to a party and saying a San Francisco hairstyle is a fashion statement. That's not happening. So by all regards, inflation is not pulling back in the core numbers. So why was the headline number a little bit lower? 
because gasoline. Gasoline pulled down, and tonight you can see in the newsletter from members, gasoline may be even lower than yeah, last night. It was a 93 or 94 international price of Brent crude last night, I think. Last week it was 98, so it's fallen all the way from about 99 last week to almost 92. But the oil traders believe that gasoline's going back up in about another 30 days because supply chain disruption, weather issues this fall, and demand as well. So with that, your inflation is still relatively flat. If that's the case, then your benefits are going up a lot. Let's go over the calculation how it works starting right now. Your benefits would go up automatically. You don't have to do anything at all. Automatically. Remember that's all automatic? Automatically. What's at issue? Well, what's at issue is that it looked like about 5000 for some of you, a little bit less, a little bit more. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare Old Bevins, Veterans Bevins. And how much is that percentage? Well, let me tell you what the analysts say, and then we'll go over what you and I think. The analysts say that it's looking at about a 10.1% raise based upon that inflationary number released last week. Of course, the inflation could still go higher, and those analysts are the... Seniors like they're looking at 8.5% CPI for last week, and based upon an 8.5, they're saying a 10.1% raise your benefits. What am I saying? I think it's higher. I think it's higher because milk and eggs and all these core components are still going up. And if you're basing that it's just the gasoline pulling down one month, I don't sense this as really a 10.1. I think it would be higher, not dramatically higher, not like 20%, but I think it could actually go higher. We'll be watching it throughout this broadcast this month because guess what? We had the producer, the personal consumption expenditure index coming in, housing data, a lot of more inflationary data go over. We'll feature it on this channel. But did you see the news? Did you hear the news? Did you watch Sunday at 4 o'clock on this channel? Yes, you don't normally have a 4 o'clock show on this channel, and you certainly don't have a special report on a Sunday, but that's how this channel works. And when Congress passed a new piece of legislation last Sunday that established four new stimulus, seven new stimulus checks, I had a special report for you at a 4 o'clock. And ever since then, they have been in the membership newsletter. Congress's new piece of legislation passed, established seven new stimulus checks, and let's go over those seven new stimulus checks for you. Check E. 2K are the lettering system I've given them individually. Check E is $7,500. Check F is $4,000. Check G is about 30,000, excuse me, 30% credit. Check H is $2,000. Check I and J are both up to $8,000. And check K is up to $14,000. Wow. As soon as I broke that news on that Sunday at 4 o'clock, which was just hours after it passed, I said it's going in the newsletter and it's been in the newsletter ever since for members. These are seven new stimulus checks. Seven new stimulus checks for four stimulus in addition to the existing three stimulus checks we've been featuring on this channel since the month of March. So now in total you have ten fourth stimulus checks from the letter A to the letter K. We're going to go over all the A, B, and C checks in just a second. And this, my friends, is why you want to become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. What is check A, B, and C? And where did it come from? Let's go over the details starting right now. There are about $100,000 passed by the president by executive action in the month of March. They're huge checks, and viewers have been getting them. Massive sums of money. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own... If you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it. How do you begin it? You go into this video, join this channel, and get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Go down that membership newsletter and go get check A, B, C, and since this last Monday, go get checks E to K. It's 10 categories of checks. But one thing I want to make very clear, because sometimes it's hard to say it when you're on air recording, it's not... 10 checks. It's 10 categories of checks. Let's go with the details starting right now. Check A is one check. Check B, you're going to meet in a second, someone who got 80 checks from check B. Check C, you have 12 places to reach out to, and you potentially have five checks a month, that you're, five bills per month. 12 times five, that's a lot of checks, and that's just one month, and most viewers are getting 14 months of checks. That's a lot for check C. Then you got E through K, so it's not really just 10 checks. 
it's more like 100 possible checks for you across the board. Now, let's go to the incredible worksheets. Where are the worksheets? Where are the worksheets? Here, <laughs> where are the worksheets for you? They're in the newsletter. Down the newsletter, around the third line, it says the price of corn today, the price of wheat, the price of oil, and then right after that says, here are the worksheets, right around the fourth line in the newsletter. You click the link, you open it up, it's a PDF. You print it out on your cell phone or your computer or you download and take notes on a separate piece of paper. What do we know tonight? Inflation. Well, here we go. There's no indication that inflation is really coming down. And the Federal Reserve in that FOMC minute, minute notes from July, released yesterday, says that they are getting inflation down to 2% with interest rate spikes of where they've been doing it so far and will continue to do that until they get it down. So the fact that we're at 8% inflation or 8.5%, we got to get to 2 that's a long way to go. And that's great news for your benefits. Recession, the big second half of this recording, we'll go over the recession and what it means for you and your money. We already went over the housing recession in this first half. Labor, 260 Thousand jobless claims? No, came in at 255. And the labor numbers for unemployment rate are lowest since the 1960s, but don't celebrate 255. It can go right back up. And this is not a particularly good number across the board. Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve detail in the second half is recording, in my opinion, is going to come in very aggressively. 75 basis point in September through December, interest rate spikes is what I'm projecting. No one else is saying that. They're all saying one interest rate spike in September, and that's it. I don't think it's happening. I'll explain to you why in the big second half. The next page of the worksheet is the one that has really been the game changer. On Saturday, a beautiful person sent me a message on Facebook at LA News that that person got 14 months of rent shacks. It sounds familiar, but it's a different person because days early, another person got 14 months of rent. Another day before that, another person got 12 months of utilities. The days before that, Spelly got check A, the weatherizing grant, and got check C's. Then, a wonderful viewer got 80 to 100 checks from check to the second page. What is the second page? This page is a table for you to keep track of all your checks. I just went over all those monstrous numbers of checks you're going to be applying for. So it ain't 10 checks. It's really upwards of 100 possible checks. And you need to keep track of when you applied, who you applied, what date you applied, who did you speak to. And this is what that table is for. The difference tonight is that the table is really just, let me bring in a frame, is really one piece of paper. I think you have to print it out twice or three times because it really has almost, I would think about 20 lines, 20 rows. You're going to have to, you, you may, you will be applying for more than 20 rows of checks, more than 20 checks. So you want to really keep track of where and when you're applying for. And that's just for one round. You know, when you get approved, you're going to go get some money the next round. One viewer filled this out but forgot to look at it. She's in Florida. And she applied for check B. She forgot. And then the state of Florida said, ma'am, you've been approved. Congratulations. For mortgage, but not one month, 18 months. Oh, my goodness. 18 months of mortgage, that is a lot of money. It's tens of thousands of dollars, but it gets better than that. She also applied for her utilities. She applied for her utilities. And when you apply for your utilities plus your mortgage, that's about five checks per month. Five checks per month times 18 months. Folks, that is nearly 100 checks. 100 checks. And she is not alone. It's happening all the time. You do that as well. You go around this video and become a member right today. In the next page of the worksheet, we have the benefit raises. So we already went over the seniors league. They think your benefits may go up 10.1%. You can use the table on the next page to go over the possibilities of it. Gasoline. On emails, I like we'll go over more about this gasoline issue. Uh, the gasoline is cheaper today for the international price of Brent crude is cheaper. On the U.S. domestic unleaded, it's under $4, first time on this channel since the month of March, since Putin invaded Ukraine. But the bigger issue tonight is the student loan debt forgiveness. As tweeted by LA News last night, August 17, 2022, a series of reports indicate the president will not, will not make a determination on student loan debt forgiveness before August. He initially set August 31st as his own deadline to make a determination whether to forgive student loan debts for everyone or not. And the determination reportedly is he's not going to make the announcement by August 31st, which means that he will continue the moratorium. You will not have to pay for your student loan debts uh, still further past the month of August, and he'll continue this into potentially around October, November. He's rolling it over to the midterm elections. Again, this is not an official statement. It's off the record, but the president did meet with advocates for student loan debt forgiveness today as well. And with that big second half, 
we got a lot to go over. We're going to go over all these incredible four syllabus checks in every U.S. state. We're going to go over check A, B, and C. Then we're going to get cut back to this recessionary talk. Camp 1 and Camp 2, we're going to go over what the Federal Reserve has said from Boma, Bowman, Boulard, and Daly about those interest rate spikes and why the bond traders and the oil traders are getting it so on point with me and yet the equity traders are saying something totally different. Are the equity traders wishing an event that's not going to happen? And is that setting some people up for potential peril? I'll explain the latest details in the big second half. Meantime, we'll go over why some companies are beating on that earnings front and some companies are not. What that means for you and what it means for gauging this economy. What do you got to do? Stay this big second half, number one. Number two, go on to this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And get your pen and paper out to take notes because we got a lot of money coming up in the big second half. It's a beautiful day. It's cooled off here in Santa Monica, California, but the stimulus is not cooled off at all. It's actually heating up more. And we'll go over all those incredible checks in the big second half. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in a big second half from LA Light. Hope you're having a beautiful day for August 18th, 2022. A series of companies miss and a series of companies beat on those earnings front. What does that mean for you and why does it show this economy is very confusing? All the latest details of the big second half. With that labor number dropping today, what do we learn about that? And does that mean that we are not in a recession or we are in a recession? All the breaking news you need to know about that as well. Plus, we'll be going over that recessionary and concerns and how it impacts your money from the shores of santa Monica, california it's a big second half and we have more to go over with your benefit raise the housing market your unemployment and of course your for stimulus the breaking news continues right now in a big second half for beautiful august 18th 2022 for afternoons all right how are you hope you having a beautiful day it's cooled off considerably here in santa Monica, california after a series of days of brutal heat but one thing not cooling off is your stimulus. Ten categories of stimulus checks are now available, and the incredible great news is viewers are getting them, and you should as well. It shows you that when you take the information of the channel, you want to run with it and do it bigger and bolder than even I record. It was over a year ago when I said get three to four months of individual items, three to four months of rent, three to four months of utilities, and at the time, a series of viewers, starting potentially with a raid, got 12 months of checks, and I said, 12 months of checks? I didn't think that was possible. Now what you see is going on with the channel is viewers aren't getting 12 months. They're getting 14 months, 18 months. Obviously, take whatever information I can give you and get it bigger and bolder. Wherever you can get the money, get it bigger and bolder and keep on getting checks left and right. And with that, then let's go over these incredible four stimulus checks starting right now. Back in the month of March, viewers said, LA, can you find me some checks? And I found them. Three checks, executive action by Joseph Biden. Incredible money. They are federal stimulus, paid by the federal government, not paid by your state. And I had three focuses. One, big sums of money. I knew that there was going to be a recession. I was the only one broadcasting there would be a recession in February this year. 
And with a two-year recession as my projection, I wanted to make sure you get big money. $100,000 are mounting in these three checks. Number two, I want to make sure there was broad eligibility. Seeing an individual $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, go get it. Every U.S. state, it's federal stimulus, go get it. Number three, I want it easy in a simple, organized newsletter. You get delivered to you Monday through Friday. You go in, apply, check A, B, C, and similar across the board. And with that, let's go over those incredible checks one at a time. You deserve these big sums of money. And let's go over everything you need to know with those huge checks. Hopefully, you became a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. The very first check is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. And if you rent, if you owe, and if you're on benefits, go get it as well. That incredible check is huge. And let's look at it right now. It is a $6,500 to $12,000 check, and it is the Weather Rising Grant. This is the one that Spella got, and you deserve it as well. Go. How do you get it? Step one, go onto this video, join the channel. Go then into the membership newsletter, delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to where it says Check A, click the link, it goes into the nationwide website, choose your state, and go get that incredible Check A. You're not done there yet, you're going to go get Check B. This is the check that the viewer out of Florida got. Huge money. She got 80 to 100 checks. How do you get it? Go under the video and join the channel. Become a member. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday. Go down the membership newsletter, you find Check B, click the link, you go right in and go click the link. Choose your state, and then apply. Look at that. Check B, 80000 Check A, about 12000 That's $100,000. We're just getting started. You're going to go get Check C as well. Incredible. Viewers are averaging about 45000 but a lot have gotten a lot more. Check C is not one checks, but a lot of checks. If you have five utility bills per month or four utility bills per month plus your rent, that's five checks per month times 12 places to reach out to per month. Oh, boy. That's a lot of checks. How do you do this? Step one, become a member. Go down the membership newsletter to you find Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. The success stories of Check C have been on this channel for a long time because it predates for stimulus. It's the residue of third stimulus. And let's look at those success stories that viewers have gotten. From utilities, like this, Mark's brother-in-law got 15000 Mark was at $6,500. let us look at the rent. Look at this, up to $30,000. Incredible. Mark's brother-in-law for SNAP got this, $250,000 over 10 years. And then combinations. Nisi went from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went from this graphic to one sixty-six because he got Check B and Lorraine. She went from one hundred five dollars to one fifty-five. dollars Incredible news across the board. Here's what you need to remember when we look at these huge checks. Now with 10 categories of checks. Check A is really one check. Check B, you already met that viewer who got 8,100 checks. There's a lot of checks you can get into Check B. Check C is all utilities. Let's say you have four utilities. Then your rent, that's five checks per month. That's just one month. You got 12 places to reach out to approximately in the newsletter. And many viewers are getting 12, 14, 18 months. That's a lot of checks. Then you got checks E through K. Yeah, a lot of applying. That is why the value of membership is here. That is why the newsletter and that's why the worksheets help you so much. Go into this video, become a member. Then go on this video, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe. There, there's a little bell at the front of this channel. Make sure you hit it to all notifications all on because you don't want to miss anything. The expression Purple Hawk was created by me to describe people who pounce. First come, first serve, because things are gone if you wait. And as soon as I announced last Sunday there were these seven new checks, that special report was sent out to members. They pounced. They jumped in, and they were ready on Monday to go in and go get those incredible checks. And with that, let's go over the other breaking news that we're looking at tonight on a big afternoon. The other major story hitting tonight, of course, is this economy. And that earnings recession that is not broadly felt, of course, the major issues at hand is the labor and the confusing elements hitting left and right. But the number one story that really is the one that makes people's head shake is what the equity traders are saying about the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve, since last year, has said they need to get inflation down to 2%. They didn't just start saying that today. 2% inflation, where is inflation tonight? 8.5%. 
8.5% to 2% is a long way. How long have they been trying to get inflation down since last year, since December? How far have they gotten it down? A half a percentage point. A half a percentage point in eight months? That doesn't look like much of a movement. No, it's not. And the last interest rate spike they had was 75 basis point. So you would presume that they would be doing the same thing because they need to get it to 2% is what they say. If you don't even have another quote for the Federal Reserve, and they say they want to get to 2%, they lasted 75 basis point increase, and they, want to, and they, they have not gotten it moving at all, half a percentage point in eight months, you would presume they would do the same. Doesn't seem sort of obvious? <laughs> it just sort of seems obvious. And that's why when you hear Wall Street equity traders, stock traders, stock analysts coming out on broadcast media and saying, I believe the Federal Reserve is going to pivot. What's the pivot? It's a narrative among stock analysts that says the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising interest rate spikes at some point in, in the fall this year, or they'll just have one interest rate spike in September, that'll be it. Uh, on what concept does this rest? On what basics is this theory relying upon? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. 8.5% inflation, 2% inflation. You're doing 75 basis point, you're not moving it. You're not moving, you're not moving. And, and then an equity trade comes in and says, I think this is going to stop. <laughs> Excuse me? Why? Now, you don't even have to guess about this. You can go right to the comments from the Federal Reserve, or at least last night, the FOMC me for the month of July. They got to get inflation down to 2% and they'll continue to have massive interest rate spikes. Did you have to wait to hear that comment yesterday? No, you didn't have to wait for that either, because guess what happened? In the last month, the Federal Reserve governors have been appearing on broadcast media. And what they do is the same thing they've done for over 100 years. They don't like to surprise you. They like to guide you. They like the markets to know what the Federal Reserve is going to do ahead of time. They don't want to ambush, surprise, or shock the markets. So Bowman, Boulard, Daly, all have said in the last month, we're going to continue this basically same interest rate spikes. We're going to continue to do them until we get inflation down a lot to 2%, and that stays down 2%. It's pretty obvious, don't you think? Federal Reserve always tells you what they're going to do. They tell you what they're going to do here. They're doing it, and then the stock traders say, no, they're going to do something else. Uh, no. <laughs> don't go with it. Now, how does this impact you? It impacts you because the stock market is not embedded the risk of more severe interest rate spikes for many months. They've not embedded that risk into the stock market. And you and I understand that if you're in the supermarket buying some milk or eggs and you go to check out and you look to your left and you see the tabloid, uh, born with a UFO's child, <laughs> there's that tabloid. The next magazine, next, next newspaper next to the tabloid says stock market crash 800 points. Why would the stock market crash 800 points? Because the stock market has not embedded the risk of massive interest rate spikes into 2023. Yeah, most Americans understand when the stock market crashes, it's not good news. Stock market crashing is an old concept that middle America mom and pops understand there's something going on that's not good when they hear the stock market crash. And the bigger the number, they all understand it's bad news. Well, that's why it's very disturbing that Wall Street analysts continue to not embed the risk of consistent interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve throughout the rest of the year. Now, when you look over the bond market, when you look over to the oil traders, when you look over to the SEC with the purple, uh, uh, the purple orchids, who's saying the same thing? All of us. All of us. We're all saying, Federal Reserve is going to continue to do those interest rate spikes. They already told you what they're going to do, and they're going to do exactly what they're saying they're going to do. So my narrative is getting ready for 75 basis points in September, getting ready for 75 in October and November and December. And why is this important for you? Because the mom and pop business won't be able to survive this. The mom and pop business, that local bagel shop on the corner that buys its yeast and flour on credit debt, uh, a credit debt every month with the distributor, whatever the interest rate is, suddenly they see that interest rate go higher and then higher and then higher. And the merchandise or the, the, the chairs and the furniture in the front lobby of the store may have been bought on credit. They can't afford that. They can't afford the, the interest rates going up over and over again.
And what's going to happen? They're going to close the door. They're going to close the door. And then what's going to happen? They're going to lay off the employee. When they lay off the employee, again, guess what's going to happen? The labor market starts to fall apart. What's important to understand is that if you look at that, that looks like nothing of what's going to happen at Apple. Apple's reporting that by 2022's Christmas season, holiday season, they're going to sell as many iPhones as they did last year. How's that possible? Because the demand is there. That Apple has that demand. It has that cachet as a, as a, as a brand. And that Apple has billions of dollars of cash on hand. It can afford a higher debt leverage issue from the Federal Reserve, unlike that mom and pop bagel shop. That's why when you look at the earnings recession this week, it's a different narrative for a very small business that is undercapitalized or a brand new publicly traded company that has a lot of debt and never turned a profit versus an Apple or, or a major company like a Boeing that has a lot of cash on hand. Some companies are going to do really well in this recession. Some companies are not going to do well. Housing, labor, they all get impacted at other fronts as well. That's the other thing to know tonight. Housing is generally hurt first when you go into a recession. And there is a housing recession underway right now. That's what the National Association of Home Builders are saying. Number two, labor generally does not fall apart of the front of a recession. It falls apart of the end of a recession. Because the businesses lay off employees as their costs go higher. And to survive closure, they lay off employees later as the recession grows across the board. So what you need to know is you, as a viewer, a retiree, as a person on SSI or SSDI, a veteran, a person who has a child that's working at the local uh, diner or the local supermarket, needs to do a series of things. One, do things conservatively financially. You need to increase your savings, getting as much stimulus as you can, and not spending money on stuff that you cannot afford. You need to remove the debt. So, a series of reports released over the last few months on this channel show that people were spending massive debt uh, inst elements over the summer. You know, travel on debt, uh, uh, concerts on debt, clothing on debt. Don't do that. Don't run up that credit card debt. Don't do it. Remove as much debt as you can in the household. Number three, presume that everything that you see today is better than how it's going to be. I haven't featured on this channel for a few weeks, but a financial cliff that I've been projecting for a long time has come in September. And if that financial cliff is coming in September, then guess what? This means this is a better economic environment than what's coming next. In fact, I saw a report yesterday where someone basically was doing a version of my graphic here, except they had it as, I think it was two phases. They didn't show us three phases. So they showed us basically now you know, whatever you're experiencing, and then something far more severe thereafter. So ultimately, what I want you to do is err on caution. Err on caution. I don't want you to believe that gasoline is going to stay high or the CPI is going to stay high. I don't want you to just presume that one thing is going one way or another thing is going another way. Because when you have a confusing economy and when you have analysts that are doing things incorrectly in their analysis, people will be on the wrong side of the equation. Ultimately, you don't want to be on the wrong side of the equation. Um, what's important to remember is that where there is money, I find you the money. And where that money is there, you go get it. And if you get some money today, you go get more money on that on top of that across the board. Whether it's a niece or a Mark or a Lorraine or a Louie or a Nancy or an Angela, they go back and get checks. That's what you do. So let's say you got utilities from this channel um, from January to March, but haven't gotten any utilities yet. What are you doing? Go back and go get some more utilities. We all know what's going to happen with those utility bills this fall. They're going to be through the roof, and the people are going to have big issues paying those bills. Ultimately, you're ahead of the game because you're going to establish that relationship with the payor, whether it's the nonprofit or the, or the county that's helping you with that, that money. You're going to know that person, their phone number and extension. You're going to prepare accordingly left and right. We got a lot coming up tonight on Evenings L.A. But ultimately, I want to applaud you. You've been doing really well. Keep on pushing. You're doing really well. Well, number one, keep on motivating people. You're doing excellent job. A jumping out of live chat saying, "Yeah, I got this. Yes, go get that." Someone has a success story posted in the live chat. Send it me on private message on facebookcom forward slash la news. You see that success story, you applaud that person, and. I don't care if it's hundred dollars. I don't care if it's hundred thousand dollars. Every time that someone does that, I love it. Even if you're just applying for a check, post that you're applying for the check. I love it. And finally, when people post their 
in-depth understanding of a particular subject matter, it shows you are really laser focused. I adore that. When someone is in the live chat and writes something like, I don't think the inflation's going down because I see the milk and egg going higher. Or is in the live chat and says, you know, there's less employees at all the stores in my town. It means you're really focused on where this economy is going. And it means you're learning and it means you're improving you and your family and your household and also the community of the Purple Power family. So keep on doing it. You're doing a great job across the board. Join me tonight on Ian's LA at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And if you're watching this live feed, then get ready for the feed to upgrade as well. Go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Welcome to the hundreds of new members that joined overnight. And to those that returned and those that upgraded. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless you. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon and stay with LA for more.